Life on Earth relies on water. Scientists prioritize the presence of water when searching for life beyond Earth. For liquid water to exist on a planet, it needs to be situated at a suitable distance from its central star. The habitable zone, also known as the Goldilocks zone, refers to the region where life could potentially exist. Planets need to be located within these zones to maintain a moderate temperature that allows for the presence of water in its liquid state. Recently, scientists have discovered 24 planets that are located within these zones and have environments similar to Earth. It is possible that among these planets, there might be ones with more hospitable environments than Earth. Scientists have surveyed 4,500 planetary systems in search of habitable planets. Research has been conducted not only on planetary systems centered around yellow dwarf stars similar to our Sun, but also on systems centered around colder and darker orange dwarf stars. During the process, it was newly discovered that planetary systems orbiting orange dwarf stars are approximately 1.5 times more abundant than those orbiting yellow dwarf stars. Scientists have held the belief that the lifespan of planetary systems and the evolution of life are intricately connected. In a nutshell, the longer a planet endures, the greater the potential for the emergence of increasingly complex and evolved life forms. In that regard, our solar system may not offer the most favorable conditions. The lifespan of yellow dwarf stars like our Sun is estimated to be less than 10 billion years. While 10 billion years is indeed an incredibly long period, it cannot be considered a significantly long time when we consider that it took approximately 3.5 billion years for complex life to emerge on Earth. In contrast, orange dwarf stars have estimated lifespans of approximately 20 to 70 billion years. With such long-lasting planetary systems, it is much more likely for life to emerge and evolve. Discovering planets between approximately 5 and 8 billion years old, which are older than Earth's age of around 4.5 billion years, would increase the likelihood of finding planets capable of supporting life. Furthermore, the size and mass of a planet are also crucial factors for the sustenance of life. Larger planets have the potential for life to emerge and evolve in more diverse locations, and their greater mass enables them to retain internal heat and sustain a magnetic field for a longer duration. Additionally, heavier planets have the gravity required to maintain stable atmospheres for extended durations. Moreover, a world that is approximately 5 degrees Celsius warmer than Earth can create numerous tropical regions, fostering the emergence of diverse life forms. If the land masses are fragmented, the likelihood of encountering oceans increases, which can further promote evolution. If the ocean depth is not too extreme, it can support diverse life forms, enabling the emergence of a wide variety of species. Regrettably, scientists have been unable to find a planet that satisfies all of these conditions simultaneously. However, an astonishing 24 planets have been discovered that appear to come close to meeting these conditions. While all of these planets are remarkable, there are two in particular that have captivated the minds of scientists. These planets have been found to satisfy at least two or more of the conditions perfectly. Indeed, KOI 5715.01 and KOI 5554.01 are planets with rather complex names. KOI 5715.01 is about 5.5 billion years old, situated 2,965 light years from Earth. This planet orbits an orange dwarf star and has a size approximately 1.82.4 times that of Earth. With an average surface temperature of around 4.3 degrees, slightly colder than Earth, the presence of a heat-trapping atmosphere could potentially support life forms. KOI 5554.01 is the planet that has been ranked as the top among the 24 discovered planets for its potential habitability for life forms. This planet orbits a yellow dwarf star located about 700 light-years from Earth and is approximately 6.5 billion years old. 
It is 0.72 to 1.29 times the size of Earth, making it nearly similar. Moreover, this planet possesses a highly attractive temperature. With an average temperature of around 26.1 degrees Celsius, this planet is approximately 9 degrees Celsius warmer compared to Earth's 17 degrees Celsius. While slightly higher than Earth's average temperature, this range still maintains a high likelihood of hosting water in its liquid state. Furthermore, there is a strong possibility of significant development of tropical rainforests on this planet. Considering that the majority of life on Earth is found in tropical rainforests, it is possible that complex life forms may indeed thrive in this location as well. It is no wonder that scientists have ranked it as the top candidate, considering its size, which is almost identical to that of Earth, and its temperature suitable for the development of tropical rainforests. As further exploration of this planet unfolds, it will undoubtedly receive a more captivating name, instead of its current complex name. Indeed, both KOI 5715.01 and KOI 5554.01 possess environments that are quite favorable for the existence of life forms. The issue is the planet's significant distance, making them remote. Not only these two planets, but all 24 recently discovered planets were found at distances exceeding 100 light years. The test telescope, currently operated by NASA, falls short in terms of coverage. It is not yet appropriate to be disappointed at this stage, though. That's because we have a lineup of high-performance telescopes to look forward to, such as the James Webb Space Telescope, the Large Ultraviolet Optical Infrared Surveyor, Louvoir, and the Plato Space Telescope by the European Space Agency. Soon, scientists will use these telescopes to explore the unknown worlds. Imagination runs wild. What discoveries await in these unexplored realms?